57 minutes, things weren't going well for you guys in offense. All of a sudden, that final three minutes of the game, so everything seemed to be clicking. What, what, what changed for you guys? Um, just execution, man. As you said, um, early on, we were shooting ourselves in the foot a lot, you know, and I think we just, we, we got to understand we're that type of team. You know, the, the earlier in the game, that's not who we are, that's not who we want to be. Um, that last drive is what we're capable of, what we know we can be. And we just got to learn and figure out a way to duplicate that on every drive. The way you were carrying momentum, you get the touchdown uh, with a chance now, two point play to tie this thing up. Did you kind of feel things finally shift in your direction? Um, definitely. I mean, when we were driving it on the field, we understood. I felt the, the momentum on our side and everything and moving forward. Um, and we knew we were going to score. After a certain point, we knew it. Like, you know, we just, it was just a matter of execution and finishing the play. Um, even that two point play, man, you know, they, did, they, they made a great play tipping the ball. Um, you know, I think if they don't tip it, it might be PI or something, but um, they made a great play, um, you know, but we got to start faster. Russell, that touchdown catch, it looked like a bullet from a 45-year-old arm. Was it as hard as it looked? Yeah, it was, I mean, it was put the only place it could be, you know. Um, you know, I think he did a good job of putting it on me and instead of leading me into the, the next guy. Um, so, you know, I'm kind of happy he did bullet, put a little extra on it. You know, the penalty uh, for, for delay a game uh, on the two-point play. What happened? Could you see what was going on in that situation? Um, just a lot of communication things, you know. Um, and that's kind of the story of this game, uh, penalties, you know. Us, you know, kind of shooting ourselves in our foot. Um, you know, we just got to we gotta be prepared in moments like this, you know. Um, and even with all that, we still had a chance, you know. It was crazy. Russell, when you talk about you know, execution and shooting you guys and yourselves in the foot. How frustrating is that to know it's stuff that you guys can easily fix? Very frustrating. I mean, you know, um, everyone knows the type of team, the type of caliber team we are. Uh, we have a great defense. Those guys, you know, get off the field quickly, three and outs, you know, do a great job. And you want to be able to help and pick them up. You know, you see your brothers out there playing and, you know, stopping guys every drive, every Every time they go on the field, and then you know we, we have to play complimentary football and help them out. You know, get long drives, you know, field goals, touchdowns, more touchdowns than anything. But so it's very frustrating, you know, um, especially when we know we have the talent to do that. Russell, working it yourself you? into a new offense is hard enough, but doing it without being able to practice because your hands strength, how difficult is that? Um, you know, I definitely would pr prefer you know to get the reps, um, but uh, having someone like Tom really helps out. You know, he does. Extra work with me on the side, you know, meetings, you know, we talk over things, we go over signals, um, you know, uh, concepts, what he's looking for out of certain coverages and things. So he does a great job of helping me um, get those mental reps when I can't get those physical reps on the field and the practice and everything um, and get me ready for the game. In terms of the injury, do you think you're rounding back into form at this point? I'm definitely getting better um, every week for sure. Um, you know, I just got to keep rolling, keep pushing it. Um, and it'll come around. On top of the penalties hurting, there was two critical fumbles early on on, on two drives that you guys looked like we were, might, might put some points up on board. Right. And you said it, um, you know, those fumbles hurt. We're, we're in field goal range for sure, or getting in field goal range for sure, you know, uh, so those are points for sure. Um, and ultimately, I mean, we win that game, you know. Um, you know, we just, I, I have to learn, I have to hold on to the ball, you know, and BP. We, we, we know this though, you know, we know we, we have to finish drives, we have to be better in those areas because turnovers can kill you, you know. Our defense did a great job of taking it away from them. Um, we can't give it back. You concerned at all that this isn't, wasn't just a one game issue? It's now three games, you guys have just gotten the, the one touchdown per game. Not at all, not at all. Like I said, that last drive just kind of showed you who we really are. Um, we know that. Um, we know we can move the ball on, on teams any given. I mean, you can look at the last few games, you know, um, penalties, you know, getting behind the sticks, you know, um, false starts, holdings. You know, it's not, you know, teams just coming out there and just physically beating us. Uh, it's us kind of beating ourselves. What happened to the two-point conversion from your standpoint that caused the game? Um, I mean, I think, you know, like I said, it's communication. We're trying to get a bunch of things communicated. You know, we only get one shot at it. So we almost have to, almost has to be the perfect play in that situation. Um, and, you know, we just got away from the time. Time kind of ran down on us. But, um, you know, we always say we, we would prefer to be over communicated than, you know, some one guy doing the wrong thing and not a whole place messed up.